Okay, we're back with more Yoku's Island Express. This game is now on the voting spreadsheet for 100% playthrough. So I'm not going to stress out about 100%ing it, but if we get close to a point of no return uh, where we would get to credits, let me know because I'd like to try to get all the 100% stuff before we get close to finishing it. I did not do a good job of leaving myself future Marstead notes at the end of last episode, so I'm just going to try to explore around and see if I remember what the heck I'm doing here. This game's very cool and very cute. It's basically Sonic Spinball if it were a Metroidvania, and I'm not very good at it. Uh, if there's something I should remember from before that I clearly have forgotten, feel free to just speak up. Getting used to the controls again. Guess it might be hard for me to clear that, huh? I like how they managed to translate pinball boards into different levels. Still really impressive. There's a map I can bring up for the highlighted objectives. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Reach base camp was the last objective from the end of the last episode. Kind of makes me want to try Sonic Spinball again. I remember it being really brutally hard. Oh, that's cool. Did you enjoy 100%ing it? Guessing I have to light all of these. Shoot. Come on. There we go. Nice. Gets me explodey guy. Get up there and pick him up. To press a button to suck these guys up, right? Is it uh, one of the face buttons? Maybe it's one of the. Sh so I don't think it's one of the shoulder buttons because those are the. Um... I want to press that to pop them, right? I press it when the time slow happens. No, oh, is it? It's just uh, one of the flipper buttons. Okay. That's correct. Thanks. Huzzah! Let's see what this is over here. I guess that's a checkpoint. Sure, I guess I should ask, like, uh, you trying to go for a faster time? Like, is there, like, a new game plus mode or something? Maybe that's a permanent open type situation. Nice. Nice. Calculated. Thanks, game. Thanks for not sending me to the bottom. I'm done there for now. Also calculated. Got to find a thing that means calculated, except I actually was trying to do that. 
I just don't take credit for it. Sweet. Let's run the blade again. Cool. Oh, hey, there's fast travel. So once I pay the cost, I can fast travel from there whenever I want, basically. Would that not be <laughs> the past tense version? There you go. The yeet is power, Kobe is accuracy. Sorry, buttons. You made it. You made it sturdier stuff than what we had figured you for. I got a problem. The space monks have been getting awfully protective of their work. I don't like people stopping by, so they closed off the path to the Peak Monastery. Go find one of those dry seed pods we saw below. Grab a bucket and fill it with fresh spring water. Find some guano. Roger. Give you a little bucket. You got an empty bucket. Fill it ASAP. Okay, I'm gonna try. Of the little creatures in this. I like they went for like Ori in the Blind Forest nonsense voice acting as opposed to like Animal Crossing. Stuck in the ice. Worry about knocking it loose. I believe in you. Go get it. Crater Lake. Swat Makuma landed when Makuma and arrived on the island. Corrupted Elder Gods in the cute Dung Beetle Mailman game. Of course there is. Perfect. Didn't go as planned. Dive in and get the chunk. Interesting. So I explicitly cannot swim right now, right? Like, I can get launched underwater with enough, uh... Oops. Momentum. I guess I can't. I'm always going to end up all the way over there, so I can't use that to launch on the water. Gotcha. When the horn of the mountain sounds, the ancient one weeps. Okay. Do not have enough fruit. I can probably use the bucket in that room. Oh, what's going to go up there? I guess I go get more some more fruits before I can make progress. Same thing you said last time. Let's see if I can track down some extra fruits.
This might be productive down here. Also appearance. Go up first. Came here to get some guano. The stuff ain't fresh enough. Well, it is guano on the ground, isn't it? Go, 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 go. Traditional pinball board. Let's see. Ah. We get an extra ball. I really like the fruit system in this game. I know I was talking about that a lot last time we played this, but it's a cool way to still have a reason to want to play well and not play pinball badly, but a way that doesn't like permanently screw you over. I want more games like this where like the, uh, the genre description is enough of a sell on its own, right? Pinball Metroidvania? One of those ideas that I'm kind of surprised that it works so well, you know? I wonder if that was the original concept for the developers or if it just kind of evolved in that direction over time, you know? Yeah, it's very cute. I'm happy I went into this game without knowing anything about it, though. Like, realizing... 10 minutes in, oh my god, this is Sonic Spinball, but a Metroidvania was neat. I think if I knew going into it what it was, it would have been less exciting. I'm trying to get that other thing. I don't know if I can. this last thing here. Ah. Would have had it if I hadn't hit the flipper twice there. Might have to be the blue one that I hit it with. I can get it with the other one. I think the big trick is that it seems like doing something on exactly the end of the flipper Kind of makes the game do things that you might not be expecting otherwise. Oh, I think I hit it there, but all right, I'm about to give up. <laughs> I don't think it's worth it. I'm guessing it's just a big fruit reward or something if I was able to land it. Doesn't look like a progress thing. Did 
the guano. <laughs> Perfect. It's funny. It smells a lot worse than I imagined. Oh, okay. To be facing the tunnel you pass through? Okay, give me a second, I'll try to figure out what you're talking about. I thought I was just having to pass it with the light in the bottom right. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I, I did have that wrong. I think I can get out of here if I do this right at the edge of this flipper. And I have to launch myself not stupidly there. Imagine this is a pretty stressful game to speedrun. So I assume the time loss for shooting wrong it's pretty high, pretty fast. There we go. Patch of mulch. Hard bed of near frozen mulch. Something's gonna happen up here some other time, maybe. Okay, nothing new there for now. Calculated. I think I want to go down here. Yo, what's up? Oh. Good, that doesn't kill me. <laughs> I'm gonna save at least 80, which I should be able to do here. Thanks, GKX. Oh, did I not finish picking that thing up? That's okay. Get back up there pretty easily, I think. Try C pod. You're welcome. They put me short, unless there's some extra ones through here. There we go. Hey, bug. Swipe this map from Spina's private stash. 300 fruit? I don't even have enough room. Gotta get a bigger rupee bag. So your momentum matters on those things. That's good to know.
Yeah, I think you were telling about that last time we played this. Is the randomizer officially supported by the devs? Is it something that fans came up with? Problem is back here. Let me see. I guess I can't just exit out from there, can I? Okay. Do I have any sources of option? Ah, shoot. Do I want to be hitting all of the pinwheels, or do they not all do something? That's cool. There we go. I think I needed 80? Ugh. <laughs> if only I gotten, had not gotten hit a couple times there. Yeah, that's super cool. So it's the same game, it's just the layouts moved around. Don't think I want to launch myself here. Well, I do want to see if I can get some uh, more fruit before I progress. that there. Package, just throw it up here. Thanks, Postmaster. Oh, nice. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I like when you got active devs like that, too. Do the chests like that get marked on the map at all? That makes me a little bit concerned. I guess you can see them. I don't have a way to get over there, unfortunately. So I don't think I do. An easy way, anyway. Sorry, my question is... Um, are all of the collectibles in the game visible via a map at some point? Like, or is there gonna be some point where I'm like looking around trying to find everything? Occasionally you get area things like that that are scripted that are hard to tell. That I think you always end up coming back through this little area in here. Free all. I did not mean to exit from there. Oops. Getting me extra fruits for stuff I need for progress. Are these old boards grindable? Like when you come back to them, do they have all of their fruits and stuff again? It seems like there's not a finite amount of fruit in the game since you can lose it, right?
think I need to be able to bomb this guy to get through here then, right? Blew up before I got down there. Yikes. Oh, I see what I had to do, I think. Nice. Clever. Cute. Do something to open this passageway. Watch out, old squirrel, when you go up there. It's grumpy, so hurry past it. What's in the chest? Excavator. Rainbow creature lays eggs that appear in bubbles, bringing good fortune to those who pop them. Okay. Is there any way for me to get back into one of the fast travel objects like this one? When it's gray like that? Oh god. It's fine. That unsolved it? Really? It's unfortunate. I know I can't make that. Crazy giant corrupted god creature. So looking for chunks. I love that they use flippers for like doors and stuff too. It's very clever. Carry one of these at a time, right? To sin. I haven't been to that one. Find Saul in the Underdark. for the package. Yeah, I imagine so. I want to get back up there. Is it on the left side? Ah, thank you. Probably more likely to end up there than the one on the bottom right. So that's a fast travel thing. Um, are there only certain ones that I can launch into and this I can only get into this one if I'm like on my way to it from another one or something? Yeah, there's more there. I don't think I can use that one either. This guy's cute. Bus doesn't stop there. Okay. I don't have a key for that. Guess we have some kind of mythical kazoo, it looks like. Okay, 
So I can look for the big lines to see where the bus stops are, I guess. Thanks. I think this will work. Okay, I think I get it better. So it's that it only goes one way, basically. Or that there's a part where you have to get on and then the rest of them just connect to each other from there, right? Okay. And you still use the triggers separately. Gotcha. Cute. Hey guys, still working on this. Should have enough fruit over here now. Horn of the Mountain sounds, the Ancient One weeps. That was the heck of a launch. Okay. Added these, they're pretty fun. Interesting. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Turn to camp. You got the fresh spring water. Still stuff to do. I got the guano, I thought. Did he not pick it up yet? Assume it's still there. Oh, you scooped it up like that, huh? <laughs> I'm, like spooking the bat into pooping. It's cute. Plant the beanstalk. I see. Whoa. It's cool. Whoops. Whoops. Double whoops. Many whoopses. Game made it to GDQ yet? Because it's three years old. It's 
2018 was three years ago and not like a couple months ago. Ah, lame. I think I have enough there. No! I need those two fruits, and exactly those two fruits. Assume there's something over there, too, if I can get over there. Really? Alright. I thought I needed two more. I don't see where the extra two fruits came from. the slow-mo before you can grab onto those too. It feels pretty good. Come on! Ah, I'm not gonna make it. So the momentum you have when you first hit those things matters, but can you speed up over time the longer you're on one? Ah, whatever, it's fine. Don't fall! No! Looks so like you do speed up eventually. Does spinning the stick help you speed up at all? I think maybe it does. I gotta be, and I can't change the direction I'm spinning, right? That depends on when I, uh, grab onto it, basically. Oh, I was doing better when I wasn't trying to manipulate it. Stop the embarrassment. Let's get it here, please, game. First try. Yikes. Made it to the top. You know what I was expecting. Space monks are real. Oh, cool. Frogs. <laughs> One of our compound. I am Boone, leader of the Space Monks, and this is my spaceship. A letter for me. Him says they're in dire need. Something blocking the exhaust in the tunnels below. Go down to the engine room, talk to my engineer. Okay. It's kind of a fun idea. Tibetan inspired spacefaring monks. I left my mate behind, but it's all in the name of science, so it's okay. Cute.
Who sent you? Can't figure out what's blocking the exhaust. Even though I've got what's coming out. Go to the tunnels and see if you can unclog it. Gotcha. Thanks, buddy. Hey, I'm sucking. That's why I chose not to speak until my journey had been completed. Nice. This game feels very wholesome. Down there, get in there and try to find out what's blocking the exhaust. Okay. Oh, there's like a thing in there? Interesting. Ice spiders. Everyone's favorite kind of spiders. Trying to get that last light. Oof. Ah, I could have gotten it there. I was less stupid. There it is. Sweet. Launched up there a million times when I wasn't trying to. Seems like that's. There we go. Kind of the way it goes in this game. Oh man, it's a boss! Cute. I'm glad that biting you doesn't uh, make you lose fruits. Interesting. different phased boss fights. This is fun. It's like, what would a uh, pinball boss look like? Some of these in Sonic Spinball, but I don't think that they're very mature. I keep accidentally popping that. Oh, I gotta get launched back up there, yikes. Interesting. I'm surprised that the extra ball is further down and not here. There it is. Oh, 
Oh, it blew up still, yikes. Guess I hit it from the wrong side. I'm getting plenty of extra fruit, so that's nice. I know I gotta get a bomb here, sorry. Back up there, okay. Finally, first try. I guess we want to go back and play the Turbo Graphics pinball games, uh, Alien Crush and Devil Crush. I never beat those, or I don't even know if you can beat them. So much wasted fruit! Oh, it's killing me. It's okay. I'll leave out of here with max fruit. God damn it. arms go back if you aren't fast enough. Okay. Also, every time it bites you, its arms go back, I think. Come on. Get that other arm off. Ah, lost it. There it goes, and I missed the thing. the cobwebs. Cool boss fight. That was intense. Stars everywhere. Launch was a success. Head on down to the village. I'll meet you there. There's a beeline just below the peak. If you can afford it. It's the quickest way back to the village. Need to find the last chief. And then Nim can go ahead with the ceremony of healing. It's the one they were talking about that's below the village, the one I've already taken. The bus that is. It's cool. That's like the 100% room, right?
Whoa. Frozen here for days. Do I appear to meditate with hopes of becoming enlightened? Maybe the space monks would take me in if I was smarter. I have obtained knowledge of trivial things. Oh, that's useful. Okay. It's my favorite Adventure Time character. Is like, I have approximate knowledge of many things. Hello, Frank the Human Boy. How did you almost know my name? I have approximate knowledge of many things. That just goes back that way. It's the other direction on the left, not actually... Okay, just for... Display. That that's not scripted. I think it literally is. Okay, Ivory Peaks, Marrow Hill, and then there's a third one that I haven't unlocked yet. That is. Go deliver the thing, but it's probably the thing that's all the way in the south. That's the most important, right? Might sound the Underdark, gather all the pieces of Mbaba's puzzle. Deliver that thing. Well, if we're going down there anyway, I may as well switch packages real quick. change dye colors, right? I still can't go underwater. Do you have to collect stuff to change the color of your ball? Hey. I wasn't convinced about this god slayer. Working on it. Can't really see what the path should be, right? Maybe it's this way. Expensive. Let's see. It's going to be rough. I got to shoot straight up, it looks like. Had a couple times where, like, if I launch immediately, it sends me opposite from the path I was going on, but I don't have enough momentum on it, I guess. There we go. I'm 
no. I keep finding myself like panic spamming the grab button when I get close to it. Upgrade hype. All right, I need one more of those to get the 100% upgrades. I'm trying going out this way, I guess. This map doesn't make it super clear how to get places. I don't have any shortcuts to get down there, right? I didn't get any progression abilities from the Snowy Mountain either, right? Like how I did from the other zone. Was a source of the grapple. Okay. It seems like I need to learn how to swim underwater. I don't know if it's actually mandatory for progress at this point, though. So I got the exploding leech vacuum in the earlier zone then. Whew. So I could have come here faster. Let's try dropping down to that. I guess there's water there maybe I can't take. It seems to go in the direction I want to go. It looks like it's blocked by water. Maybe there's something down through that way. Church of the Space Monks. Interesting. I'm gonna get back into that room quickly. Secret Sanctuary. This is cool. Pazuzu! Pazuzu! The glow moths, favorite fruit of the dive fish. Without the glow moss, the dive fish starved. This is the last one. It's so small. I doubt it will ever get it to teach anyone to dive. <laughs> Left side of the pool. I'm missing the dive fish lets me swim. Tribe is disgusting. Okay. I'm gonna try, buddy. Cave out used to be full of glow moss. They're all gone. Scrawny space monk used to come here looking for them. The monk was never motivated enough to scale the slick walls. 
I too wonder what's up there. Interesting. Turn to the hidden pool. Diving, please. Oh, he's gone. Interesting. So many glow moths. I can't eat them all. Did you do this, Beetle? Spacebug Space left us. Press A repeatedly to dive while swimming. Hooray! Progress. That's cool. A little fish pushing on you there. <laughs> Very neat. Tadpole. Do fish even come from tadpoles? Alright, so that opens up lots of progress. I'm trying to think of things I've seen that look like progression upgrades that I haven't been able to interact with yet. Collect multiple tadpoles for some end, it looks like. Pass some that I didn't pick up, now that I know that they're pickups. Let's explain what these dead ends are. Seven. Tadpole spawning pool. Interesting. So I got seven, maybe there are three more. Skeleton, that's cool. Eight. Oh, hey, it's a turtle. Nice. Myrtle the turtle. Thank you for bringing a little ones. Nice. Hey, wallet upgrade. Pipe. Beware the God Slayer. Disguise amongst you. Oh. Creepy. The God Slayer's disguised amongst one of us? I. <laughs> the God Slayer thing is really funny to me. The story definitely works around it, right? <laughs> so yeah, it's this cute little uh, Fern Gully animal game. And there's a fucking god slayer. I guess Fern Gully is not a good example, but it's pretty scary. <laughs> the evil Tim Curry oil monster. Mulch. Okay, I haven't figured out what to do with mulch yet. 
That's two of them. Doesn't get marked, does it? I guess it kind of is in the sense that you can just look over the map and look for things where there's not like an icon next to it. Okay. Man, that's like a secret. I'm really lucky that I bumped into it there. Yikes. Oh, interesting. Maybe there's multiple pathways to get to that. Oh, I think I get it. Smart. Deadly sprinkles. Bobble oozing with black ichor. That's always good. It seems like each of the zones in the game have um, optional stuff in them that require the progression items from the other zones. It's kind of neat. So no matter what order you do them in. I've been down here before. Yeah, I don't think I have anything to blow up down here. Sure. Kind of makes up for the fruits I was just burning. There's a shortcut I've already been to. There's more water down here to check out. Hey, you're kidding. This is the boss from before. Must be some other water I can take to go further down. Maybe over there. I think there was a shortcut fast travel on the way out of here, right? One sec, I saw a thingy down there. Wickerling tracker for 300 as well, okay. Oh, it's too bad that I missed it on the way up. I saw a thing I could grab onto on the way down there. Beeline, let's go. None of these other locations have water that I haven't explored yet. Probably the bottom of the waterfall here. So much fruit. Cool. I like the placement on the wickerlings, they're good secrets. I'm gonna go further down, I just wanna get this wickerling. Oh, I, was like, I guess this is new, because I wasn't able to get under that before, huh? I was like, that's weird, why didn't I get that before? That must be why. 
Well, let's see what's deeper in the water then. Another wickerling. This is pretty. Hey, you made it to the Underdark. Nice. Slug Gardens. Oh, shortcut. Nice. Song I have uh, lyrics is not like. Dark Souls of Pinball. I'm so bad at the boards in this game. I apparently have, like, no practice with actual pinball games. that open. Another shortcut, it looks like. That thing seems like it's the best source of extra fruits in the game. Temporary, okay. Back down here. I didn't know how to get to it. I wasn't clear on how the uh, network worked. Do I need the grapple to get through this section? Shit. Oh, I could have gotten three back to back there. Okay.
So I think you can do the snowy area without... I guess you need the explodey things for the spider boss, don't you? Never mind. theme in this area is pretty good. It's very, uh, like, OC Remix reminiscent. Something down there. Been here before. Oh, it's a shortcut. Okay, thanks, game. Detonating slugs early let me, like, jump, basically. Oops. More of a running start there. Guess depends on where the slug is on my ball, huh? Did you mention that because I need that to get that chest? Didn't seem A wasn't working there. Weird. I can maybe get that thing to launch multiple of these things out. I did it too early that time. I guess I can't get more than one. Automatically bounces me out of there. I gotta go later. I can't do that from a standstill, right? I was trying to press A before and it wasn't letting me launch it because I was trying to like line up so it was directly below the ball. Okay. Try it. Huh. I wonder why it wasn't working for me before. Okay, it's that you can't be pressing a flipper button at the same time. That was a problem I was running into. Thank you. An exotic kind of non-vegetable based currency. <laughs> have sealed off the entrance to their village. I what they're hiding in there. <laughs> Cat. 
cats in the big fish. Nice dive fish. Having to get close to the old temple. Curtsy, you can't eat. Just imagine. Hey, beeline. Okay, so that gets me all the beelines that I know about. Another wallet upgrade, which is always a treat. Oh, I probably need to drop down to get on that one. All right. I'll head back and get that, because i got to come back here anyway. I think I've been here. Be no, I guess I haven't. Oh, this is who I have to deliver to. OK, perfect. What's up? Without the drones, I'll let you pass. Did you borrow my shirt? I don't think it's the right fit. You have to find your own bee suit. Interesting. Smart. She's cool looking. suits. Sweet. I like sections like this in games. level of zoom out on the camera is kind of alarming there. This is also terrifying. That's deep. Cute Yoku's Island Express freaking me out down here. giant, terrifying anglerfish down here somewhere. Top of its lure is a... a fruit or something. Okay. I still believe there's going to be something terrifying in there later on. Let me see if there's anywhere along the western edge I can swim to here. Then I'll leave. That's as far down as I'm allowed to go. Okay. Totally would see a secret being along the wall there. And that would be the uh, Ori and the Blind Forest way to do it. Dive fish.
everything's pretty creepy. Black Mage Mushroom Guy is creepy too. There's no reason not to spend those once you have them, right? You eventually have to go through and activate all of them. Temple. Gnarly. These halls lies the recorded history of Mokumana Island. These stories have been passed down and preserved by the Unders. Dawn of Time, the Ancients were born. Oh, hey. Another chunk is nearby. Button is the first part of the sequence. Keep it pressed down while you search for the chunk. Thanks, buddy. bother to keep stuff like the extra ball. I wonder what kind of pinball design space there is. I think I mentioned last episode that it would be cool if like, I assume if you are the kind of developer that makes a pinball game that you're a fan of classic pinball games. So it would be cool if some of these levels were like stealth references to uh, classic boards. The Adams Family pinball board or Terminator pinball board kind of thing. So, so launch all the way on the edge thing. Space Cadet, exactly. Alien Crush, Devil Crush. Right, it's probably, exactly, it's probably in the game, but I don't know enough about pinball to be able to notice it. I think that's my favorite kind of video game reference, not like a super explicit one. But just one where it's like, we're just borrowing the shape or the math or the mechanic. Like that uh, Chill Penguin one from... Oh, what was that game? Uh, oh, Dallas, The Dark Call, I keep talking about. They couldn't port Spice Cadet because it was too spaghetti code? Really? I didn't know that. It's weird. I don't think... Can I launch straight through there? Sometimes I can't tell if something's meant to be accessible or not. I'm trying to go straight through to the right there, or on the left where the two torches are. I don't know if the flipper can launch there, because I don't know how else I would get there.
I like clean guitar tracks like this. A lot of OC Remix is just clean guitar covers of uh, classic video game music. Makeable? Oh, maybe if I launch through. No. Because that bouncy thing's in the way. Does anyone think I can launch from the. Oh, wait. Fuck, I got it. Well, it answers my question. I just gotta not get stuck next time. I didn't notice which part of the flipper I was on when I did it either. I don't think it was like the exact end of the flipper. Somebody has the time. One of the, a lot of the times, if it looks like I can't make it, it's probably because I have to do it on the like final pixel of the flipper. But I think that sends me up like that instead. It's definitely from the orange flipper, though, right? Oh, so I'm gonna be stuck on this. This is gonna be the rest of the stream. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not very proficient at this kind of a thing. I guess I could just play it like a pinball board and just keep hitting it and hope that I randomly get lucky. That's the problem is I only ever played pinball to survive, not to score. Ow. Wait, what's happening? Oh, is this something you lose access to if you die too many times? Interesting. Maybe something you can only do if you die too many times. Shame screen. Okay, I will accept an idea here. If anyone has a thought of where on the flipper I could try to land it to make this. I got it the one time, but I didn't notice which part of the flipper I was on when I launched. I gotta go through the little passageway with the uh, torches. I think that's necessary for progress too. I don't think it was from the blue flipper. Let's move it almost at the end, but the ball has to be moving across it very fast. Okay, I think I see what you're saying. Is it almost at the very end, you're thinking? Wow. How did you know that? I'm leaving those fruits behind. It's fine. I'm almost at 350 anyway. Give me your pinball vision. This exact game enough. Gotcha.
Ouch. Walter's deaf, dumb, and blind. Okay. <laughs> Never played much pinball in any kind of direct way before this game. So you've already had that this is going to be the rest of the stream moments. Okay, well that's good to know. I feel like I'm really bad at it, but it might be, I guess, not a flaw of Yoku's Island Express's design, but that, like, in normal pinball, as long as you're surviving, you're continuing to get points and make progress and feeling like you're, you know, getting more value out of your quarter. And this, when you're trying to go through a specific, uh, like, door, I guess you're continuing to get fruit most of the time. So that's still there. Ball, ball gains momentum. It doesn't reset that momentum. Actually, I think I missed where the purple door was that I opened up earlier. Oh, there we go. Calculated. Licorice. Looking to buy? I got a creepy bobble here. 200 fruits. Oh, I didn't actually mean to buy that. I meant to say no. Don't accidentally launch yourself down there. Creepy sprinkles. You got a blue key. What will it open? One day the God Slayer rose from the depths of its dark lair. Your world and your old ways are at an end. Dark shadow fell across the islands. Oh, I guess I need to have a... to get that green key. I don't want to go back down here. I don't think I can reproduce getting back up here. It's two chests though. All right. I forget where I launched it. I played Space Cadet Pinball quite a bit, but uh. Okay, we might have it. Don't fuck it up now. Ah, I fucked it up. <laughs> I guess I need to launch at it diagonally. Did the thing I explicitly told myself not to do. doing that too. Okay, try it again. I wish I could hit save here. Oh god. I panicked because it started to blow up. I was trying to do it from an angle, but... This is going to be the rest of the stream now. Shit. 
you just gotta go so far to try again. I have a question, I need to think about how to ask it. Um, if I come out of the top up here, how do I ask this question? <laughs> All right, so my question is, is it deterministic where this the leech can land left of the um, the pathway that I just came up? Like, can I move around in such a way that it could be pointing down and to the right in a different location west of me? Or because of the way I started out and because it's a finite amount of terrain, there's exactly one spot that I can stand on to launch myself. And is it going to launch? I keep wanting to look at Yoku. It's going to launch the ball. I feel like I'm going to screw this up. I don't know if this is right. Because that looks like if I launch it right there, it should go straight up and to the left. But I feel like it's either going to go straight left or launches the ball. Should I be drawing a line from the dead center of the, the slug? Yeah, Yoko almost never matters for physics. That makes sense. I'm actually going to look this up. Hold on. Green key. Oh, it pre-filled. Reaching the green key. And there's no screenshots of it. Where do they stand? I hate this. <laughs> yes, I'm accepting input on the angle, please. Me being able to do this again seems really tough. Uh, I'm watching a video. I think I want to be slightly to the left of this thing, but I also don't think I can get it exactly right. Fuck. Oh, thank God. Okay. Never again. I feel like an upgrade that like lets you spawn a slug. Maybe it would break the game because it would let you jump around everywhere where you're not supposed to be able to. But the bigger problem is like having to get the slug back and then get into position before it explodes, you know? Yeah. I only looked it up because I'm like the amount of practice I would need to do to get this right is so high, and the time cost is enormous for each mistake. Shit. So many times that the free ball doesn't actually end up working out for me. Dude, the popping sound effect those things make is really satisfying. 
Big fan. Yeah, I think it being a like a end game upgrade would make sense. But I'm guessing there are areas of the game that would be broken if you could get a slug in there, so struggle with in this game is that like because yoku exists i constantly am moving the uh analog stick around and i'm guessing once the ball's in the air he does nothing or maybe adds like a one percent weight or something i don't know it's like uh if you were a kid if you played video games like leaning in the direction the character was moving i feel like i'm doing that with the sticks But I think if they had upgrades like the green key and they're not mandatory for progression, then having a late game ability that lets you spawn slugs would make it a little bit more reasonable. Began. Oh, the money turns into fruit. Highland agents fell one by one. Hey, that's the God Slayer's mark. All except one. Well, Kuma the Wise took the last God Egg and escaped. Nice. Glad I got here with the key. That was the opposite of worth it. But hey, I'm close to capped now. At least the... Okay, it's fine. The blue one had a, a wicker man thing in it. Ancient birthing grounds. Spooky. Hey! Don't get many visitors here. You ought to talk to the chief. Himself, Chieftain of the Unders, Guardian of the God Egg. Kuma's darkness affects us all. I can't leave for the village. Bring back my missing clanmates. Seven can show you the entrance. Be careful if you go. No one knows what hides in the dark old tunnels of the Crystal Deep. the god egg. Guess I can open a shortcut over here, I assume, right? Huzzah! path above here. Oh, that's a bummer. Go 
Good enough. Then we're at max. Oh, where's the beeline? Out through here? I forget where that merchant was. Was he close to the beeline or something? I guess there's the guy that sells the wicker map. shows you for Marrow Hill. Okay. So it's an end game thing to dump on. Makes sense. It'll still be useful anyway since we're doing 100%. Thank you. Hopefully I don't need like 80 right away. That sound is cute, and I like the, like, party favor thing, but I feel like I interact with stuff less often so as to not spam that noise. <laughs> Creepy. This is Hollow Knights. Screech got the others. Hey, many who have fallen before the wicked Screech. Nest in the maw of evil, past the great gate. Seek strength in numbers. Multi ball! I thought maybe if I had enough speed, I could roll into that. No! It's okay. This seems good. This room. Not a problem at all. I need one more fruit game. Ugh. down here that I can launch it. Ha! Huh. I thought maybe that would be enough speed. I guess not. There might be some extra fruit up this way.
Should be able to get some fruit in here, right? Just need one. Stop leaving. Just gotta touch one of those bumpers. There we go. Does that seem like that ought to work? Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do to change the trajectory, though, to get close enough to the flower, right? Hmm. All right, that's probably a good stopping point. Future Marstead, uh, you are doing stuff in the Underdark. You got to collect a bunch of the minions for the black mage dudes who are guarding the egg from the wickerlings. Uh, you just got here. You came from below. So you want to keep going to the left here and exploring um, left and right trigger for the bumpers, a button to yell, left and right triggers to pick up slugs and to grab onto grapple locations. Don't forget you can swim down by pressing A when you're in the water. This game is still fun. Thank you, Brutus.